almost everybody in this room uh, knew Diane personally, I'm guessing. We each have <laughs> wonderful memories of her. So I won't elaborate with my own memories, but instead allow uh, our IRD board chair, Helen Ray Stumbo, who was a friend of Diane's for 25 years? Um, longer than 30 we 30 years? <laughs> Many years. They were childhood friends, obviously. <laughs> but uh, Helen Ray? I told Mark, it's, we were friends longer than either one of us liked to admit it got to that point. Um, but we knew each other going way, way, way back, even before IRD days, and um, worked together in the trenches, in the church wars, in the society wars, in the culture wars. And Diane was my dearest friend, absolutely my dearest friend. And um, there isn't a day that goes by that I don't miss her, and there's still a hole in my heart that... Uh, that came when she died. And, um, she was just a very, very special, special person to me. She was always gracious, but she was always courageous. And those of you who knew her, knew her courage and her grace under pressure. Um, and it was a wonderful thing to see how God used her in so many different ways in, in our culture today. Um, I want to thank you all for being here. The fact that you are here is a testimony to the fact that you knew and loved Diane and you appreciated her. And we are so pleased to be able to have this event. And as Mark said, we hope that it will be the first such event. And you can say you were here at the beginning. Um, I'd like to introduce Fred Barnes. And uh, Fred is somebody who needs no introduction. And he said he believed in short introductions. So I will say that Fred is the editor of the Weekly Standard. And he has been on the IRD board uh, a little over six years. He actually was asked by Diane to serve on this board and came on just not too long before she died. But he had known her quite a long time before that and had a great deal of appreciation for her and was, was really pleased at the thought of serving on the board at her invitation. And so I'd like for Fred to come forward now and introduce our speaker for the evening. Thank you. As when Diane invited me to be on the board, I was flattered uh, that someone like Diane would actually want me to be on the board of IRD. I didn't, I don't know what my qualifications were, but uh, I said yes. Diane was one of those people that if she asked you to do something, you said yes. Uh, I can think of about two other people in my life that I feel that way about. One is Chuck Colson. The other is is my wife. <laughs> Most of the time, <laughs> you just say yes. Uh, Diane, Diane, I got to know Diane uh, when probably when I was uh, still at the New Republic magazine. Uh, we started the Weekly Standard in 1995, but I I came and interviewed her many times about uh, the issues that IRD uh, worked so effectively on. Uh, got to know her, and then she in invited me to be on the board, and I. I certainly agree with Helen Ray that uh, her death is, ha has left a hole in my heart, too. I talked to her father a little earlier about this, and, and, uh, uh, and he uh, said he, it was hard for him, too. You would expect that of a, of a father, and, uh, and, we all, and we all certainly miss her. She was such a great force uh, as the president of IRD. Well, I'm here to introduce someone who was a founder of IRD back in 1981. That's Michael Novak. Uh, it must have been a great time back then. Uh, it was a, 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 certainly a critical time for America. Uh, democracy was threatened. Uh, Soviet communism was still on the move. Uh, certainly Christianity was under threat uh, around the world. Uh, and IRD was founded. Now it's the 30th anniversary. A great time to have Michael come and speak. Uh, Michael has written 25 books. That is very, very intimidating. I've, I've written one, <laughs> and it was pretty short. Uh, 25 books, uh, one on sports, which I've happened to, I happen to have read, the joy of sports. Uh, Michael has been, you know, he's taught many. He, a number of places, Stanford uh, State University in New York, now is teaching at Ave Maria Law School uh, in Florida, while still being um, a scholar at the American Enterprise Institute. I've seen him in recent years, particularly on the elevator. The Weekly Standard is in the same building on a lower floor. 
from, from AEI. Uh, Michael has been called a theologian, a philosopher, an ethicist, but I think of him as an intellectual warrior. And that's why he has been such a great force in American life and someone who has affected the way people think all over the world. Uh, in 1982, uh, Michael's book, The Spirit of Democratic uh, Capitalism, was published. A book that, uh, at the time, one of the reviews uh, in the Freeman magazine said, if this book does not become a classic, it won't be Michael Novak's fault. Well, of course, it has become a classic. Mm -hmm. The Spirit of Democratic Capitalism is one of the great books of the 20th century, uh, one of the great books in the in the last hundred years, one of the great books uh, leading to the triumph over communism. Uh, a book that if you haven't read, it is as relevant today as it was back then. A great moral and theological defense of capitalism. A book, uh, this is a book that's had legs uh, and a powerful impact. I talked to a mutual friend of ours uh, just today, uh, Charles Krauthammer, who's known Michael for many years as I have, and Charles says uh, that he thinks the one of the most important things, one of the most important achievements of Michael Novak was the role he played in blocking uh, the sharp movement to the left of, social, of Catholic social thought. Now, I'm not a Catholic. Charles certainly isn't a Catholic. Uh, but we, we both recognize this great achievement. Almost single-handedly, Michael Novak blocked and reversed uh, the movement of Catholic social thought for moving to the left uh, and bringing it in another direction. He was also a great link between, in the early 80s, well, throughout the 80s, between Eastern European intellectuals and the American intelligentsia, at least a chunk of the American intelligentsia. Another historical role that Michael has played. And so we're proud to have him here. Michael, you're going to have to get up. Uh, a truly great man, uh, Michael Novak.